Okay, last Thursday, you may have noticed a little something, something we had on the air. During one of our segments, we spoke with CJ of Murph and CJ, mm -hmm. part of uh, 95.5 The Beat, great radio station, and we were asking her her opinions. Uh -huh. Well, I gave my opinions, and I don't know if I overstepped my bounds or what, but listen to what happened uh, Thursday. It doesn't matter if they don't have anything going for them. They can still have five women in Atlanta. And the women think, oh, if you have that fake gold chain on or them rims or whatever, oh, you're about something, or I'm in the record industry. Who is not in the music industry in Atlanta? <laughs> so right. there you go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, can we get CJ enrolled in the charm school? <laughs> She'd be talking like Buck Wild oh, the whole like, time. She'd be going on. She turns on. it on and off. I'm <laughs> so. Yeah, CG wasn't very happy with mm -mm. that, right? Mm -mm. No. And here's why. If you are not a fan of Buck Wild <laughs> on VH1's Charm School, right? Charm School. And others. Yes, and others. We do have a, a clip. Take a look and you can compare. Oh, you can send me to Army School. I don't care. Send me to player school. Send me to whatever school you want to send me to. You can send me to poker school. Send me to bartending school. I'll go to any kind of school. I would tell Keith, you know what? It's time to get buck wild. It's time to get buck So there you go. I don't know. To me, she sounds like buck wild. <laughs> CJ was not happy about it. I All right? Mm -hmm. She sent me an email. <laughs> Okay. She was a little offended. So this is what she wrote to me. This came to my work address and everything. She said, as a woman with two degrees and who has worked extremely hard on my career, it was a slap in the face. So there you go. You see Buck Wild from VH1 is one of the most ignorantly portrayed women on television. So I was appalled. <laughs> yeah, she's fighting back. This is going to turn into a lot of fun, I think, because I th to me, she sounds like Buck Wall. Okay. She absolutely does. Mm -hmm. But here she's saying, I am a degreed woman, master's degree in psychology. Mm -hmm. Then why is she talking all like this all the time? Hmm. I don't know. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. See, there, she is. She's a beautiful girl. Uh -huh. She is a beautiful girl. And Great smart. radio station. Yeah, you're not saying she's not smart. So she's... I want to know what you think. Was I right? Was I wrong? Send us an email. Here's the address, bma at cbsatlanta.com. And I want you to listen to her this morning. When you get in the car and go to work or to school or whatever, listen to 95.5 The Beat. And that way you can see how she sounds on the air, too. So when you're done with us in the morning and it's time to go to work, mm -hmm. turn on 95.5, listen to what she has to say, and then join us tomorrow because I'm sure we're going to have some kind of a response. Yeah. So it'll be around 2 on Wednesday. <laughs> I just can't believe you pulled Buck Wild from your memory bank. I mean, that's just... That's good. I'm impressed because I didn't know who Buck Wild was. Yeah. I didn't know, so when you said it, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sounds like Buck Wild. I, I, I do agree. I knew who right? she was, I but I forgot all about her, actually. The benefits yeah. of having a 15-year-old daughter who loves I reality so. TV and watches MTV all the time. So, send us an email. We'll show those with the viewers coming up.